Hi everyone, I am making another classic breakfast favorite today and it is the French toast. Ooh la la! It's rich, delicious, and simple to make. So with no further ado, let's get started! Everything that you see here was purchased from the 99 cents only store except for the ground cinnamon and the apple cider vinegar. And let me show you what I've got. I have here a loaf of Texas toast bread. I like using this kind of bread when making French toast because it's nice and thick. Here's two slices here which I had already lightly toasted in my bread toaster. It is recommended that you use either slightly stale or day old bread. But since I'm using fresh bread, I took two slices out and I placed it into my bread toaster and just lightly toasted it. Set it on the lowest setting possible and just lightly toast your bread so that you can um, dry it out. If you don't do that, if you just use fresh bread and just dunk it into the custard later, it'll just all fall apart. So once you have lightly toasted it, um, let it sit on the counter for at least 10 minutes until it has completely cooled. And I have some brown sugar here, or if you want, you can use regular sugar, um, your choice. I also have some salt, uh, three eggs, some butter, vanilla extract, some maple syrup, and some honey. And these are to top my French toast later. I also purchased a bunch of bananas for only 90 cents. Okay. They're not very pretty, but they're going to be super sweet inside. And we'll need some milk as well. I forgot to mention that if you're going to be using slightly stale or day-old bread, then you don't need to toast your bread. You can go ahead and skip that part. Next, I'm going to make some homemade buttermilk. And I have one cup of milk here. I'm going to add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, which is from this here. And then we'll go ahead and give this a stir. Now if you don't want to use buttermilk in your French toast, you can always use just regular milk or half and half. We'll go ahead and let this sit for five minutes and we'll come back to that. I just cracked three eggs into a bowl and now I'm going to whisk them. Be sure to whisk them really well. So spend about a minute or two doing this. The buttermilk has been sitting here for five minutes, so let's go ahead and pour it in with the egg and whisk to combine the two. We need three tablespoons of sugar, and I am using three tablespoons of brown sugar today. But like I said earlier, you can use white sugar instead if you want, or you can even combine the two. Whatever you want to do will work just fine. So let me go ahead and add the brown sugar, okay. and we're going to whisk it. And of course, if you don't like your French toast to be um, as sweet, then go ahead and feel free to use less sugar. That's fine too. Let's add a pinch of salt and just put it into the bowl. Add in a tablespoon of vanilla extract and add one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. It smells so good. <laughs> as soon as I smelled the cinnamon, it reminded me of um, cinnamon buns. <laughs> now whisk everything until it's well combined. I'm now going to transfer the egg mixture to a baking dish. Butter the griddle. Um, but if you don't have a stovetop griddle, then you can just use a regular skillet. That's fine too. Go ahead and butter the griddle. That should be good enough, so let's go ahead and turn the heat to medium. And how you know when the pan is ready is when you start to see the bubbles form and it will subside. While I'm waiting for the pan to heat up, I'm going to uh, dunk my two slices of bread into the custard or egg mixture. There you go. And just hold it down for like about 15 seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and flip it on over. And we'll hold the other side for about 10 seconds. And you don't want to oversaturate the bread because it'll start to fall apart. And let the excess egg mixture um, drip off the bread and place it onto the pan. 
do the same thing with this one. Just hold it up and let the excess drip off. Immediately place it into the pan. Okay, and as soon as you have placed the slices of bread onto the pan, immediately turn your heat down to medium low. We'll cook both sides for about six to seven minutes. Um, depending on your pan, it's going to vary. My griddle heats unevenly, so I kind of have to move my toast around. <laughs> Like that after like every minute or two and you may have to do the same thing if um, you have a pan that heats unevenly as well go ahead and move your toast around so it gets brown evenly it's been about six or seven minutes I believe they are ready to be flipped now let's go ahead and flip them over there we go that's gorgeous and here's the other one they are perfect Okay, so that's what I did. So every minute or two, I just kind of rotated the bread around so that it can brown um, evenly. So just cook the French toast for about six to seven minutes on each side. And once they are golden brown like this, and crispy on the outside, um, but soft on the inside, it shouldn't be soggy at all. It should be thoroughly cooked. So six or seven minutes later, we'll go ahead and plate these. But remember to rotate them every uh, minute or two. So you get a nice even browning. So while I'm waiting for my French toast to cook over here, I went ahead and cut up one banana. And that's what I'm going to top my French toast with today. Alrighty, these are done. So let me go ahead and turn off the heat. And let's plate these babies. Let's put it on a plate right over here. And let's take the other one. Here are the French toast all done. Now you can top it with whatever you want, maybe with a pat of butter and some maple syrup, which is classic, or maybe you like honey instead. But today I'm going to top it with some powdered sugar, bananas, and maple syrup. Okay, I just sprinkled some powdered sugar onto my French toast right here, and you can get this at the 99 cents only store as well. Now let's place some bananas on here. Mm, it smells delicious. The smell of cinnamon, the smell of bananas. I mean, just like combination of all these smells, it is absolutely divine. Okay, it's time to pour some maple syrup. Let's drizzle so you can see that right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. There we go. What do you guys think about that? Now, is that yummy to your tummy or what? Now, of course, if you don't like this combination, you can always add other things like some uh, fresh fruits, jam, Nutella, whipped cream. I mean, tons of other things that you can top your French toast with. This is definitely a breakfast treat. Okay. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I post new videos every week. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you later alligator. Bye! Yum!